And sadly, we're not on a one tree hill. And sadly, we're not in a lone pine park. But no, but, we are going. And there's to, no time machine. But we are going to the house on Haunted Hill in this part. Well, at least it ain't the, the house of a thousand corpses or something like that. No. That was Spencer Mansion. Or House of Dolls. No. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We will be visiting something like that. Oh, God. I I just realized that... I, I just recall that one of the most scary areas in Shout Hearts 1 and 2 was the dollhouse. Oh, God, that was creepy. Oh, yeah. How, how about the, the Tower of Dolls in Castlevania Chronicles? Uh... I, yeah, that was creepy on a different level of me getting my ass kicked so badly. My dolls. <sighs> well. I, if, I, I can't think of anything more degrading than uh, losing to those things. No, I, I in think a, in a the castle, thing that would be in, the most in, degrading in, no, no, with beating. No, 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 in a Castlevania game, no less. A now, actually, bats, the most are, bats are one thing. Uh, Grim Reaper is another. But actually, freaking, with the most... but, but freaking dolls. Actually, you wonder what the most degrading thing is? Yeah. Getting killed by one of the butler skeletons with the plate of food that he chucks at you. Or better yet, the skeleton bartender from Portrait of Ruin. Yeah. This one's for you! Die. Oh no, they actually dies sitting. Yeah. Wow, they actually played those kinds of physics. Oh my god. As well as zombies falling downstairs. Gonna kill. Oh my god. So, I guess they weren't as lazy as we thought. Ooh, what's that? Grenades? Oh, hello, my ooh, pretty. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Uh, is it? Is it? Grenade launcher! Not just any launcher, any grenade launcher, it's the M79! Classic. Yep. <laughs> you got a cue the Terminator um, checking the gun and checking the weapon and all that, and he goes, Excellent. Because the same way about the Terminator, he knows his guns. <laughs> well, yeah, he is programmed to use all kinds of firearms and in hand to hand combat. And I'm just saying that in T2, he really liked the, the M79, it became his signature weapon. Yeah, it saved their ass. White. Ah! ah. So, uh, so, I don't want to do construction! Go away! Owie! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it did. Ah, it's ready to shoot you guys. I don't like you. I don't think I'm gonna use the knife anymore. <laughs> Damn. And there's acid rounds in there, but we need a lockpick of sorts. Ooh. More ammo. And there's also a kind of chemical right here. There's a handgun part, but it's not compatible with the M93R. Uh huh? Can we use for gun maintenance? Eesh. You're cutting it close. I know, but don't worry. I'm... Fortunately, I don't die, obviously, but I will heal eventually. Anyway, uh... Let's see, there's one more door... There's one more shutter we can open with the emblem keycard. Well... Still not as degrading as it would be for the whip of memory getting beaten by a bunch of what was it? Cream pies. Cream pies. It's just, it's, it's, it's just whips memory. Yeah. That, that still makes me laugh because the angle that works so well at. Yeah, now I mentioned it's also dark elementals. So I guess you're killing with dark humor. <laughs> Uh, now all we need to do is insert the Three Stooges music, and we're set. Yeah. Back, back. Anyway, here we are back on the second floor. Open salami. Bacon sandwich? I didn't ask for this. I don't care for bacon. Open caraway! There's still nothing here. Except a zombie. Uh, close the door! Close the door! Oh, he's already unconscious. But you could close the door and cut him in half. Nope, we already threw away the keycard. What the Wait, fuck? The albinoid? A creature was created by injecting the T virus and genes of a salamander. Characteristics. 
Similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. Okay. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over 7 feet in a very short time frame, roughly over 10 hours. Or more. They possess high mobility and able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Ew. Yeesh. Hey, what's this? Oh, there's more grenades here. I wonder if they tried to, um, make, what was it, those stingrays that are, like, in South America. Those things are fucking scary. Sting? Because... Stingrays are scary anyway. It's our manta rays. Yeah, but, I mean, the... I, I think it was in South America, I think. I think I recall watching a show where the stingray that's, like, fucking huge, it can actually eat a whole person, and it can actually stick, like, its poisonous tail barb and just rip the, like, just the fucking, like, blood air, like, um, what is it, the vein, and just, and then you'll die within just a few short minutes of blood loss, providing it just doesn't eat your ass that day. Eesh. He seems to be dead. He's dead, Chip. But yeah, we got the armor proof, too. Is there anything else in here? Uh, there's a painting. Oh, let's, let's see anything here. There's nothing special. Eh, well, might as well go look at the painting, then. Yep. Uh, there we go. Target acquired. 1126. And somehow that makes all the bad air vent out. Um. Oh, well, because it was so perfectly timed. Convenient. Yes. There's nothing else in here, so let's let's get out of here. It was all part of the master plan. Uh huh. Where are you getting your lessons from, Eggman? Oh no, sorry, Robotnik. No, I was getting my lessons from Dr. Wiley, a very acclaimed great engineer of science. Wait, who the hell are you? There's no need to know, because by the time that you hear this voice, you're already dead. Okay. Yeah, you don't scare me. You could say. I'm a, a ghost. ghost from someone's past, but not yours. Relate to you, but not yours. Moving, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. <sighs> anyway, moving on. That was anyway, my that... best impression, but meh. Impressions aren't always your strong suit, though. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of realize that. I kind of got suckier at it. I can I haven't done as much, so. No, 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 no. Your your strong suit is being cynical. Oh. And, that, and trust me, that's a compliment. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. Oh, except we can take these acid rounds. Well. He's already dead. Well, what am I going to do with the acid rounds? Load into a grenade launcher and kill. Bio weapons with great hostility and extreme artillery. Ooh, baby albinoid. Alright, let's take this picture. Yoink! Could that ah. be enough? Yeah. What do you God damn it. What do you expect? Get an item. Monsters will either attack you or. Well, they'll do that. Either that or the place will try to find some way of killing ah. you in some comedic fashion. Ow. Great timer is going off. Wait, what the? The timer is still running between load screens. Yeah. Uh, who said that was fair in this game? I don't know. The same people that thought it was a good idea in Corpse Party. Eh, good point. But um, moving on. Okay, that uh, that was great. Not as exciting as it was the first time. Good job, Capcom. They get the time limit was actually generous. Even so, that's still a bad thing to do. Well, trust me. When we eventually escape the island, there will be uh, a countdown like that. 
but it'll actually logical. Because it'll take you roughly five minutes to get to the plane from where you where the, the subject truck will actually begin. Alright, back to this hallway with the zombie that wait, looks like he needs a friend. Wait a minute, these enemies respawned! Oh fuck. That means wasting ammo on them is already pointless. Uh, apparently. Oh well. We got plenty of ammo anyway. Either that or we might have triggered the second wave. Well, we kind of did, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, you know that skeleton painting? We gotta put it uh, right around here. Now, oh, picture this room. And look at this. A man's portrait is displayed here. Gee, I wonder what we should put on there. Obviously, the, the painting. Army proof. Ooh, what's that? Okay, a hex shaped stone object. A picture of a jeep is carved on it. Hmm. Let's see. Human out skeleton is outlined in blood. I bet he has a little captain in him, yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, we gotta face it right here. There you go. Here you go, right back where you belong. Yeah, it just didn't skip ahead and put it on there. Well, no, because that wasn't angled properly. Oh. Uh, Gold so key. What's here? That's for the palace. Fucking him? Nope. Here we go. The Ash for Family's Crest is on it. Oh, well, that's... And okay, I guess that gets us somewhere. So, yeah, sure. We're going back to the palace. The palace... Of insanity. <laughs> of a certain little psychotic man-child. Like I said, the palace of insanity. Step through the door, and you will enter the Garden of Madness. Now trust in your force. And cut the throats open! No thanks. Ah! I wasn't watching where I was going, I think. Go away. Adam, it going. doesn't matter how many doggy treats that you have, they're still going to eat you. It wasn't my fault. I, was, I guess I wasn't looking exactly where I was going. I think I was distracted. Well, that's what you get for trying to look up porn while <laughs> recording a play. <laughs> we stop it with no, those, no. we stop with those asinine accusations. Uh, I I kid I kid. I wouldn't do anything like that, really. Not while recording. I don't think I could either. I'd be too uh -oh. focused. Like more banders. Uh, more banders, and I don't want to be snatched. No, it's that that's just shooting from a distance. Yeah, that's how you should deal with snatchers. Yep. Ugh. Yeah, it sure takes a lot of bullets to put them down. Uh, yeah, well, roughly a clip or so. But be just or be dead. In fact, just be the latter. Yeah. Pretty much the best. Forever. Well, actually, the best way to take them out is you can use grenades, acid grenades, or bowgun powder. But your bow gun powder is best used for the boss of this disc. Yeesh, running out of bullets. Oh yeah, there's also another thing about this game. If you have a full inventory, and you examine a healing item on the ground, if you use it now, you use it. Yeah, you use, you use healing items that are on the ground if your inventory is full. <laughs> Unfortunately, like a backfire if you accidentally use a first aid spray on the ground. No. Unless you don't care about ranking. I I don't think most people would care about on their first few tries. And by the way, and besides, by by the way, to unlock the rocket launcher, you must beat that game in roughly four hours and thirty minutes. Uh, and with this game and the way it is, uh, uh, that's actually pretty hard. Yeah, considering uh, this game is long, very long, roughly a good five to six hours. You know what you're doing. Concerning that Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 are about maybe three hours apiece? Well, the, the original PS1 games, yes. Yeah! Well, He's really speeding towards me. I mean, probably your initial playthrough of the games will probably take you maybe six hours. Maybe. But uh, if you manage to cut corners and stuff, we do this fine. I mean, I wasn't even caring about ranking. I get a C rank at the end of this run. But no, I just wasn't caring because, well, frankly, I can get by without getting the rocket launcher. 
Yeah, I'll, 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 I hear you there on that one. And besides, I think you'd have to do it without any saving or any retrying. Yeah, it's this thing. If you die in a game, you can retry from where you last saved. But no, you're better off just reloading your save. Hmm. An earth to wear vase, according to Ashford Family Tradition. What if golden teacup was given to Veronica, as founder of the Ashford Family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. I see. Yeah, the the uh, the matriarch of the Ashford family, Veronica Ashford. Then there was Stanley and his son Thomas, presented with silver teacups. And who was next in line? Sir Thomas to his twin, twin brother Sir Arthur, and then it went to Sir Edward. Yeah, Edward, the, one of the three founders. That was when the Ashford family entered, enjoyed its golden age. But then, oh, yep. But then Edward passed away. And then things got worse when his son, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position. Because he was rather mediocre. So thus, all the hopes end up lying with Alfred and Alexia. E. So yeah, the, the, the father was a failure. Though... Anyway, so it, anyway, the solution to this puzzle right here is you gotta hit the buttons in order of the the people that were mentioned in that file. Is the, there was Veronica, and then there was that guy, Stanley, then uh, Thomas. <laughs> he he honestly looks like Ronald Weasley's uh, dad. And, and Arthur. Yeah. And Sir Edward. I think it was Arthur Weasley, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, yes. Uh, Alexander. And finally, Alfred. Tracy Ashford Legacy revealed the true master. Let's push the button. And we'll see who wears the pants in this family, or should I say, dress. Earthenware vase. Alexia! Yep. And let's see, let's do some more examining around here. Ooh, a pure white candlestick. Slid it right on the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. And so it was it'd been completely broken. Yeesh. Somebody wasn't happy. No. But yeah, we should look at that vase in detail. It has a nice design, though. Yes, let's begin our investigation. Yeah, let's see. It actually looks really nice. And, uh, I'm sure you're really suspicious about it. Oh, what's inside? That's one way to do it. Smash it! There we go. Quaint ant object. This is a theme in the game. Yeah, ants and dragonflies and all that. Well, then again, that whole movie we saw was also a hint. Anyway, you know those gold lugers we got? We can now open that door in the save room. Yay! But we want we want we might want to take out the zombies that are around here first. We have an easier way to uh, get through this. All right, uh, come on. No, I can't go downstairs. Oh, threw it because I'm near the stairs. And you're just not having much luck at the knifing like you used to. No, but then again, the knifing itself is tough because, again, close quarters. Oh, yeah, that's right. Coming closer, guys. Oh, silver crest. We need a silver key. I wonder if I can knife them and it'll fall. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, look, they can uh, actually uh, walk it without uh, having to press the button. Uh, remember I said, they, he fell. Oh, my God. We well, you know, see, stairs physics. Oh, but did you also note, reuse sound bites from Resident Evil 2. What else has it been reused? I was say, even the, when you get damaged as Claire. Wouldn't surprise me. Yep. And I, I, right away, I recommend, in terms of items, definitely take a high caliber weapon with you, like, say, the explosive arrows or even the grenade launcher. 
Hmm, since it seems like we're heading back to an old place, uh, doesn't actually, it? Actually, we're not heading, to back, heading back to an old place. We're simply going to an, an old place. Yep, I'm gonna use the gunpowder arrows. Right then, let's ditch these regular arrows. Pretty sure we're gonna ditch them. I guess not. Alright then, here we go! We shall proceed onward and hopefully we won't get too badly hurt. Hey, it's that door! Yep. And now we can move through. Oh, by the way, obviously the novel of this game, it definitely trims the fat a lot. And uh, Steve is actually a bit more competent. Yes, you hear me right. Those those words should not go together. No. Well, unless it's Dark Side Chronicles, Steve. Left, right, left, right, 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 right. Well, yeah, like, right. Yeah, yeah, it's a combination. Let's see. Uh, ooh, let's, let's turn on the computer. Ah, oh, speaking of the whole movie. Seriously, Alfred has this as his screensaver. Um. Yeah. I, I think I'll let my silence speak for itself. Um, that kid's over. Oh, thank God. Wait, the, the... Wait, okay, that was from the TV over there, wasn't it? No, from here. Really? Yeah, but almost so completely different from the monitor. Uh, then again, it was a different kind of scene. I, I mean, it looked more like that thing. Then again, inconsistent one, you know? You can see in the cutscenes. Let's see, one, nine, seven. Did did the guys who work on the cutscenes actually talk to the guys who did the gameplay that week? I don't know. Did did, did they communicate that they go, um, yeah, let's just put that in there, and then they didn't. What did like Kenji just say? Uh, you know what? They won't notice it. Dude, why are you asking me? I don't know. Just. I'm not asking you, I'm just... Anyway, anyway, the password is 1971. Uh, it... Um... Oh, at least got that out of the way. Well, that was less freaky than I thought it was. Oh, really? Except for that. <coughs> uh... Ah no 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 next snappy. Nope. I'm gonna wait till you get in range and I'm just gonna shoot your ass. Okay, here you are. Ow! Die there we go. What is a blue up here? Why would, we need, why. why would we need it? There are no poison enemies, but I'll take it anyway. Owie! Fine. Yeah, I can heal. We're fine now. Yep. Great launcher time. Do we got some baddies to blow up? Oh, yes. Roughly two more bander snatches. Well, three, if you count another one we fight in a separate area after this bridge. Actually, no, screw that. Crossbow. Okay. Here we go. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. It's Lord use your loading screen with a heartbeat. Going up, sir. Ah! By the way, just time your shots right. Otherwise, you'll waste more a more arrows than you should. Time your shots, and then now, because with proper timing, you only need two arrows to kill them. Yay! Because I think you might—they might have super armor frames if you if you keep, keep you constantly shoot them. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, no, you just want to time your shots so that once they uh, stop recoiling. Then you shoot another arrow. No, no, no. I'm just thinking of uh, a few hours ago. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Anyway, moving on. 
Open the door! Easy with another gamer super armor fame and gamer fuck guns and all the fuck. And here we are. Oh, you know, there are dolls here. Well, you get your, that song playing. Well, you open your big <laughs> mouth, dude. Yes, the suspended doll. I want one of my favorite tracks in the entire series, bar none. Oh, and another one. Yay! Ow, 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 ow! Get no, off! No, no, no! I'm crushing your head. E 40 millimeter grenade, asshole. It's too bad we don't have sunglasses. No. Those are $500 sunglasses, you asshole! Alright, it's like, we got a war zone down here! It's a damn minigun! Human casualties, 0.0. .0. Let's just call the uh, monsters you already killed up at this point. And let's terminate his peace with this result. <laughs> anyway, what a mess. Looks just like my apartment. Except not as bloody. I, I, actually, my apartment's not as bloody, fortunately. Well, I told you to properly hide the hooker under the floorboards. It looks like you learned your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so horrible. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> See, denial there. <laughs> no, you just make no, you just make a crap up and try to get a rise out of me, but you're not gonna get it. Anyway, look at well, that. That's why it's called a spit the doll. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, now I'm getting kind of... Oh god, I'm getting Revelations 2 flashbacks. Moving on. Keep huh? focus, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this... Oh, uh, even she's so getting annoyed. My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashra family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name oh, boy. and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. Wow. I will handle She's gonna take matters in her own hands, myself. huh? Who's <laughs> there? Oh. Is someone at the corridor? Uh. Nobody here but us chickens. Quack. 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 Nothing. That's a duck. I believe I must have been imagining things. Nobody but space go, ducks. <laughs> or mighty ducks, even. I missed that cartoon. Do the flying V! I said the cartoon, not the movie. Yeah, I don't really miss the cartoon. Oh, the cartoon was pretty cool. I mean, it's just that they're the mighty ducks, and yet they're actually our actual space ducks. Playing hockey! And they, and they pretty they treat hockey with a lot of respect. If memory serves. Moving on. And they replaced Rescue Rangers and DuckTales with that? I don't know for sure if they did. Here's me relief. It seems to be a woman's back. Oh, what's this? Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will revive through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. My dear brother, I firmly believe that y you really need to get out more. No, seriously, go do that. Go get a woman, please. I I'm not interested. No. <laughs> no, not really. And besides, why would I go out with an inferior specimens such as yourself, especially if you're related to me? So thus, Alfred was unable to make a proper comeback, and therefore he was forced to masturbate for roughly eight hours that day. <laughs> he went to he went to fucking Planet Zone, and he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, turn it off. Red Queen, Blue Queen, Return the Path opens. Return of the King. That no. was a good movie. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to Battle of the Five Armies. And Dracula came out and said, "The fuck is going on?" <laughs> oh, silver key. Okay. Ah! Okay, moving on. Okay, that was a little weird. And we have the queen and object, so let's use it. Hmm. 
Okay, let's take the music box plate. For some reason, that red uh, queen ant piece, it kind of reminds me of the 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 decoration that, uh, um, what was it? That one villain, I think in, I think it was the Lost Galaxy that was given to him by Lothar, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that's right. He was given something like that. Okay. I don't know where I was going with that, but fuck it. Okay. It, what, what matters now is that we, we're going to go all the way back to the prison. <sighs> well. Again, backtracking to the sequel. You, Wrath of the Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, because we got to get a medicine to Rodrigo. And we also got to investigate what remains of the prison. And then go all the way back here. Yeah, because apparently the development team thought that was a good idea. <sighs> See you guys in part five.